question of how do we head into this weekend? Yeah, this morning it was supposed to rain even earlier, so we made, made the most of it to, to do some dry running. Now we tried the three compounds, the hard, medium and soft. The soft is much faster than the hard, like over two seconds, for example. Very important to here check the purpose if you are going so high speed for such a long time. We seem to be okay on that respect. The balance of the car was quite okay as well on our respect as well. Okay, we know our competitors, they didn't do the second push on the soft tire. So I, I don't know how realistic it is that we are the fastest. Uh, we are trying a new power unit for Charles, so you have to set up the, the, the hybrid uh, setup of the circuit. But so far everything is going quite okay. The weather is going to be the worst today. Tomorrow should be a little bit better and Sunday should be fully dry. Now, we've obviously just heard that after the, the summer break, I think a lot of teams are looking at taking penalties. We're hearing Charles is going to take a penalty. Is Carlos taking anything or is he looking all right? No, Carlos is not taking a penalty, but surprising, uh, Max is taking a penalty. So tomorrow we're going to have the both drivers leading the championship starting from the back. Or well, tomorrow, Sunday, you know. So that's going to make the race on Sunday super interesting because I think what else can you ask for, you know, Charles and Max starting from the back of the grid, that's going to be a hell of a race. And that, of course, gives a good chance to Carlos, Checo and both Mercedes, I think, that they know they have a higher chance of fighting for the win. Now, do you think that the second half of the season we're going to see the reliability maybe start to change some of the positions in the constructors? Do you think? Yeah, I mean, Charles has taken already a lot of penalties, so he has more engines that he can use. It's impossible to use. I want to see at the end of the season if someone managed to do the whole season without a penalty. Because three, three engines for the whole season is almost impossible. In fact, now Formula 1 engines are doing the distance of Le Mans. Are doing like a 24 hour distance. You have to do like 4,000 kilometers on those engines. But that's the way it is. And, and for Spa, it's going to be super interesting because Max and Chaz are starting from the back. But uh, yeah, I, I think we're going to see some penalties on the second part of the season. It's true that a lot of engine manufacturers brought new engines here because by, by 1st of September, you have to homologate the hybrid part of the engine and after that you cannot and that was one of the reasons why I think some, including us, you know, we brought the new updates on the hybrid before the 1st of September. After that, for many years, you cannot bring any more updates on the hybrid. It's an exciting uh, race ahead that no doubt for, for Sunday we expect obviously Charles and, and uh, Max to be uh, qualifying up the front, but yep, again, starting at the back. And then, what's your thoughts with the rest of the season? How do you rate uh, Ferrari's performance? Obviously, first when we first rolled out in testing, we knew we had a very, very special car. Probably haven't optimised some race results that we, we should have done. But what do you sort of see the development of that car going in the second half of the season? Or do we when do we make that decision to put it all in the 2023 car? It's true. I mean, we should have won twice the amount of Grand Prix we have. Uh, we haven't won them because we have not been good enough. Uh, we have not been good enough on the reliability. We have made some... At the beginning of the season, we lost Barcelona. We lost Baku because of reliability. Then we had Monaco, of course, on uh, strategy, probably. Uh, then there was Spa, uh, Paul Ricard, you know, with, when Charles went off. So we haven't been perfect enough, all of us, you know, the team as a whole. And, and that's why we haven't probably maximized the potential of the car. Now, the car is very fast. And if we still believe in the championship, it's because we have a super fast car. But to win in Formula 1 now, you have to be perfect in all areas. And uh, we haven't been able to so far in all the races. And hopefully this, this second part of the season is going to be better. And we're learning from it. We know we have a fast car, but we haven't had the reliable car enough to, to win. As I say, instead of four races we have won so far, we should have won probably eight. Uh, and that's why we're lacking so many points behind Red Bull. You know, we are 80 points behind them. And the, we've got nine races to go, including this one. What's your your next best favourite that you're looking forward to the most? I mean, that one is not even important because this is a low down for race, which is going to be the same thing in Monza. So if, if the package works here, it should work also in Monza. Um, yeah, well, our car has been fast in all areas. has been fast all year long. Maybe when it was cold, like in uh, Hungary, we were not fast enough. That's the only area we've been suffering a little bit. We, we don't warm up the tyres enough like some of our competitors when it's very warm we are very strong but with the car we have honestly we've been fast all year long i just want to check spa and monza that's the only doubt i have you know with this low down for setup that's the only thing we haven't seen this year so far although like in uh it was in, in saudi arabia we were fast as well and saudi arabia was also a very fast track so i think even in spa 
and uh, Monza we're going to be challenging for a win, that's my opinion. Very, very special to see another Ferrari win uh, again in Monza, that, that is for sure. Ladies and gentlemen, please a big round of applause for Mark today and his expert Thank you. tips Thanks. and uh, insider, insider knowledge on the steering wheel. We are going to have that steering wheel, which is... Yeah, you can use it, any, any of you, you can... I mean, it's quite expensive, man. For steering wheels, cost more or less, I don't know, 70,000 euros. And, and every driver has at least two. So it's a very expensive piece, but you can use it and take pictures and just have a feel on the grip and everything on, on what the drivers are using. It's a good opportunity to get up close and personal with one. Please don't take it home because we'll have to invoice you for 70,000. <laughs> uh, thank you very much. I'm going to leave you now.